This is my lower unit off of my 1986 Power of Tower um, inline six cylinder Mercury. I decided to make this video because I've searched the internet high and low when there's very little information about what you should do with this gear shaft selector. A lot of people change out their water pump, which I'm actually not doing that because my water pump was new not long ago. Um, the issue that I'm having is under that bushing inside of there, I have a leak, which is causing water to get into my lower unit grease. Um, but what I've learned after taking this off is that it's really difficult to figure out what gear this is in. And I figured out how to do this, and it's actually really easy once you figure it out. And I just wanted to see if maybe this could help some people. They're in the same position as me. So basically what I'm going to do is tell you that you have to take this. I first start out with 11 30 seconds of an inch uh, wrench and put on this. Keep it up toward the top. Now you want to make sure that you don't pull this shaft selector up at all. Keep it where it's at. Don't push it up. Don't push it down. Just leave it where it's at because you can actually cause more problems. You can disconnect it from... Uh, the mechanism that it hooks to down inside of your uh, gear assembly. But right now, I'm going to spin it and show you where I'm at. So the drive shaft always turns clockwise. Turning it clockwise should produce the prop to spin in forward reverse or stay in neutral. Right now I'm spinning it, as you can see, it's not moving because I'm in neutral, which is good. Okay. So when you're in neutral, you see there's not much slack in it at all. If you want to go to forward gear, you literally just click it once. That's it. And you shift this, and now you see the whole thing turn a little bit. But now I'm spinning it clockwise. And as I spin it, props in forward gear. Okay, so now let's back up a little bit so the wrench doesn't hit. One click. Feel it just pop right in. Start spinning it clockwise. You can see it's spinning neutral. Now I have to go to reverse. One more click counterclockwise or to the left if you're standing behind the prop looking at it. And you start to spin the shaft clockwise. And now, as you can see, it's spinning in reverse. So Reverse is all the way to the left. Neutral, you feel it click right there. That's neutral, neutral, and then forward. Okay, forward. So tomorrow when I my part comes in, this bushing I'm waiting on and the seal have not come in yet. I've ordered them, they'll be in soon. I'll be replacing that and then put this back in. I'm going to do another video tomorrow and I'll figure out which way is the best way to do this. I follow a YouTube channel called Merc Sun, and he said that you leave it in forward gear when you take it out. So you would put your shifter in forward gear and then pull your lower unit off. So that's what I did. Um, I'm probably going to put it back in neutral just because there's less play there. I can't mess up. So as long as I go back to my boat and put my shifter in neutral, and this is in neutral, there's no play. So it should line up exactly. If it's in forward gear, there's a little bit of room for error there where you can be off. So I know the benefit to leaving it in forward gear is that you slide the drive shaft up into the crankcase of the engine. Um, if it's not going all the way in, these teeth might not be lining up exactly right. And you can turn the prop, which will move it so it'll line up. I got my fingers crossed. I hope that doesn't happen. If it does, what I can do is just leave it down a little bit, reach in with my wrench, and pop it into gear and barely move it if I need to. So again, I think neutral is the best just because it's going to let you line up the teeth from here to the teeth inside of the mid part of the engine. So anyway, that's where we're at. Hopefully this is helpful.